Hey everyone. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a program I created to display some data. So in my personal work, I need to create applications that sometimes display some data. And that's usually because I'm doing some sort of data analysis. And I have a feeling that some of you also need to create applications to display data. So that's what this is. So what you're seeing here is this um, basic frame that has a title, has a divider, and below the divider is uh, something like an Excel sheet. So I was able to create a grid, read in some data, organize the data in a grid format, and display that for you. So that's essentially what you would have here in this program. So one of the reasons that I'm not going to try to program this from scratch is because there's a lot going on here. And a lot of this needs uh, some uh, really thought pro some deep thought process in terms of how, do you, how you want to organize the data. But I essentially start with the, those three main classes that we've been working with in the previous videos. So you have a class for the app, a class for the frame, and a class for the panel. And here the panel just contains some static text and that's really, the purpose of this is just to show you that you can add things to a window besides just a grid. The frame contains a lot of the bulk um, work that is going on in this application. So you have the sizers, you have the grid table, and you have uh, other stuff like the title. And the application here just calls the frame and displays it. So let's talk a little bit more about the how I'm able to display the data in a grid format. So WX has this library called WXGrid, and I'm importing it as gridlib. Why? Well, because some of the previous tutorials that I saw on how to learn uh, to d write this type of program imported the library as gridlib. So I just continued that uh, that concept. So. Once I've imported Gridlib, there's a class that I need to use, and that is Gridlib Grid Table Base. And I use Grid Table Base to create Grid Table Source. So Grid Table Source is my own class, and that class is simply used to essentially load in the data and organize it in a way that will be manageable to be displayed. So there are there's a two part. Uh, there's two parts to this program. One is reading in the data and the other is displaying the data. So if you go to the documentation for uh, WXGrid, there's a bunch of classes here and the one that I needed to start out with was this grid table base. And this grid table base is basically a template of a class that you need to work with. So there's some methods here that need to be overridden. For example, get value. And there's a couple other right here. Here's another set value. So essentially, they're giving you a, a template to load in your data and organize your data. Once you've rewritten through some of those methods, there is gridlib grid. And this is the class that can be used to create a, a, uh, an app, a widget to basically display your data. So I create grid table, and that's my own personal class. And grid table calls upon, uh, where is it? Grid table source to basically source the data and this whole class is basically one big grid, this grid right here, that can be appended to a window to display your data. And so once I've created those two classes, I go to my frame and I create the grid. I load the file. I set some parameters, uh, some some stuff that I don't want et to be editable, such as the header columns. 
add that to the sizers. And then once that's all organized, I can then call on my frame to display the data. And that's how you get this application. And I know that is pretty quick and really high level. But again, I didn't want to try to program this because uh, it's just a lot of work and it is uh, it can be a little boring to just watch me type. So, But if you guys are really uh, interested in having me try to program this from scratch, just leave some comments in, or some requests in the comments below. And that's basically it. So that's how to create uh, an application to display your data.